Shondell Jackson. Nathan Potter, a student at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee who was 21 years old, was the victim of Jackson's first-degree intentional homicide and robbery. Potter was shot dead during an attempted robbery by Jackson and Derek Thomas while he was returning to his residence. Potter didn't have any cash on him. Jackson showed no regret or remorse for killing the victim crime during the trial and even grinned at the victim's family once as he was being let out of the courtroom. At the trial, John Potter, Potter's father, spoke to Judge Rebecca Dallet and said, Judge, there is nothing that can be said to bring back our Nathan, but he also requested a sentence that matched the heinous act. However, in April 2010, after receiving a life sentence, he lost control and was restrained by two police officers before being pepper sprayed. His family then remarked to the victim's family, we despise you. Dylan Shoemaker. The 17-year-old received a 25-year to a life sentence. According to court documents, Shoemaker would fatally beat the 23-month-old child if he did not stop crying, leading to his death. The child was repeatedly struck in the face by the mother's 16-year-old boyfriend, and blunt force trauma to the skull was found to be the child's cause of death. According to Sheriff Howard, Shoemaker was charged with and tried for second-degree murder. I'm a 16-year-old blonde. Probably all I have to do is cry and they'll feel sorry for me, Shoemaker told his mother of the jury. After being given his punishment, he turned to face the family of the victim and apologized, saying, I didn't mean to injure them. Due to his anger management issues, Dylan's attorney claimed that he did not mean it. When he arrives at the courtroom, he begins sobbing and apologizing to everyone before even taking his seat at the defense table. Just as he had planned, Shoemaker put on a sad face and cried at the sentencing. It didn't work out too well. Dylan Shoemaker was sentenced to life in prison by Justice Bowler for his role in the death of Austin Smith. T.J. Lane T.J. Lane, the Ohio school shooter, spewed vile and rude words at the families of the three students he killed today, then gave them the finger and laughed and smiled when they described him as a monster. Lane, 18, got another chuckle when the judge sentenced him to three life sentences without the possibility of parole. Lane was waiting for a bus to an alternative school when he killed three students at Chardon High School on February 27, 2012. Three more students were hurt. Lane wore a blue button-down shirt to his sentencing hearing today. He sat down and unbuttoned his shirt, revealing a white t-shirt with the word killer written across the front in black marker. When Lane was allowed to speak in court, he gave a brief crude statement that ended with fuck all of you before raising his middle finger in front of the family of the three students he gunned down. Lane had remained stone-faced and refused to acknowledge the victim's families during other court proceedings leading up to his guilty plea on murder charges. As Lane smiled and nodded, Judge David Fury sentenced the psychopath to three consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. Jacob Morgan A 14-month-old baby died in a house fire in 2015 while at home with his 17-year-old brother, Jacob Morgan of Rock Hill, South Carolina. Jacob was charged with murder at first and pleaded guilty in October 2021. After setting fire to his home and killing his brother, Joshua Alexander Hill, he was charged with involuntary manslaughter, unlawful conduct toward a child, and third-degree arson. According to the court, Jacob set two fires before fleeing the house, leaving his brother inside to die. Jacob has not made any formal statements about how the fire started, but he later stated that he lit a pillow on fire and threw it in the air. Authorities believe two fires were started, one in the master bedroom where the baby was sleeping and another in the living room. Jacob cried, pleaded, and prayed with absolute terror in his eyes before he was charged with arson and murder in connection with his brother, and he was then led out of the courtroom crying. Eventually, Jacob was charged with the murder of Joshua Hill, and he would be sentenced to 15 years in prison, according to his mother, Julie Hill. Kyandra Cooks After a carjacking attempt went wrong, this young teen was given a 20-year sentence. A 27-year-old Palm Coast man was misled into meeting Kyandra so he could purportedly offer her drugs. The man arrived with a companion, and they moved to the location of Cook's boyfriend's failed robbery attempt, shooting at the men and wounding one of them. She appeared to hesitate when the judge asked whether she wanted to speak, and after a little period of silence, she looked up at her lawyer, Stephen Robinson. He spoke to her while talking to her with his ear close to her back. She then started speaking softly. I sincerely apologize to the victims and their families for what I did. I've changed, and I really do mean this, Cook stated. Foxman declared 
The fact that you essentially did the same thing again, while knowing how risky and deadly it could be, is the one thing I really couldn't get beyond. That component has always been challenging for me. From the back of the courtroom, her mother could be heard sobbing in shock over Cook's initial 20-year sentence. Cook supposedly passed out at that point and had to be carried from the courtroom. That's all we've got for today, guys. Also, don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe for more entertaining content. And we'll see you again soon.